In this video, I'll show you how to send ActiveCampaign transactional emails using Postmark directly within ActiveCampaign automations. And if you're not sure what transactional emails are, no worries, we'll cover that first. I'm Jason, Growth Specialist with Wildmail, where we help make ActiveCampaign even better for your based businesses. Let's check it out. So before I show you how to create and send a transactional email inside ActiveCampaign, let's talk about what transactional emails actually are. Uh, in comparison to your typical marketing and sales emails. So you're probably used to sending out marketing and sales emails. Uh, you can do that very easily with a campaign feature or the automation feature inside Active Campaign. And these are your typical email campaigns uh, to build relationships with potential customers so they know, like, and trust you. Your contacts have opted in to a list, opted in to hear from you, uh, but they may not be expecting the emails that you send out. They may be part of a newsletter that you send out, part of a promotion, um, some kind of, you know, campaign uh, calendar that you're working off of. Um, and these require an unsubscribe link. When you send these, these emails out, you have to include the unsubscribe link as part of the policy. Now, transactional emails are one-to-one -one emails that the contact is expecting because they've just taken a specific action, like making a purchase, requesting a new password. Uh, they've left a review or you're asking them to leave a review for something, uh, some action that they've taken. And an unsubscribe link is not required in these emails. Now, obviously, you don't want to abuse these emails. Um, they're they're going to be delivered typically instantly and directly to the person's inbox. Uh, whereas, you know, Active Campaign, the the marketing and sales emails can go out over a period of time. These are going to be sent instantly. And Postmark is an industry leading transactional email platform that was recently acquired uh, this past year by Active Campaign. And now they're working in Postmark into Active Campaign so that we can have our marketing, our sales, and our transactional emails all in one platform. So you can build out these automations, build out these flows, um, and not have to use separate platforms. This is really big because best practice is to separate your marketing and sales and your transactional emails. So, marketing and sales, transactional emails. Um, you don't want to be sending them from the same place. And obviously, typically, you know, you're know you not going to be able to anyways. Uh, Active Campaign requires you to add the unsubscribe link for the marketing and sales. Um, and so originally, you wouldn't have been able to send out these transactional emails until this recent acquisition of Postmark. But what's really cool is what I'm going to show you, and that is putting everything in one spot, combining uh, all of your marketing automation, so the different actions, adding tags, um, filling custom fields, et cetera, sending out you know, these marketing emails in sequences and also sending out transactional emails to your contacts. So let's dive into how to send these transactional emails using the Postmark action. So let's just say, for example, uh, we have our Wildmail app and we've got a trial for 14 days uh, that someone can create. So I'll go in, add a start trigger, we can select when a tag is added and we'll do wild mail trial runs once I'll hit add start. And now from here, what we can do is immediately deliver a welcome transactional email. So over on the right here, you'll see this P for postmark and send a transactional email. I can click and drag that from sending options and that'll open up the transactional email action settings. And uh, you can see here, we have an account already connected. If you need to, you can add a new account here and it'll walk you through the steps with Postmark. I'm just gonna go back to Active Campaign. Ours is already set up and you can do that. Uh, it's very simple. There are just a few steps that ask you to log into your Postmark account and proceed through the prompts, click authorize and continue. So we've got our accounts, I'll hit continue. And then we're going to choose the correct server. So in our case, uh, I'm going to show you an example with wild mail. And this is set up internally inside of your postmark account. So you can see this here, our different uh, servers. And then you're going to choose your transactional message stream. So for wild mail right now, we just have our default transactional stream. Only your transactional streams will be available. So if you have anything else set up, uh, in Postmark inside Active Campaign, we're only going to be able to use Postmark for uh, right now at the time of this this video um, for transactional emails. So we'll choose that one. Then you can choose your email template. It's going to be on the Active Campaign side, not on Postmark. So if you have any templates in Postmark, you can import those into Active Campaign or recreate them. Um, I'll just choose this one here, text email for an example. 
and say welcome. You can use the personalization here to pull in data from their active campaign accounts. Now for your from address, if we go back to our steps here, we chose the server, we chose the message stream, chose the AC template, uh, we've added the subject and we're now choosing the from address. We do, we do recommend that you verify the entire domain with DKIM so that any uh, emails that you add will be verified immediately instead of going through one by one. Uh, you can do, the, do it that way as well. Verify your emails one by one um, with po uh, Postmark and Active Campaign. But we definitely recommend uh, verifying with DKIM and then anyone that you add, any email that you add will be verified automatically. Um, and then you can just select it here. So let's say support at wildmail. These tags are internally for Postmark and it allows you to organize them, view data based on these specific tags. So I'll say test in this case, uh, but maybe it would be something like welcome or uh, wildmail welcome, WM welcome. Track opens, yes. Track links. Track link clicks, yes. And then we can hit finish. And now we're able to send a transactional email. So we've set this automation to active and now I'll just send a trial, uh, trial contact through it. So here I am with my own account for a trial. I'll go down to automations and now I can add myself to the postmark test. Hit okay. And I will run through the automation. And this is how you can send out uh, transactional emails to multiple people. If you bulk send them through the uh, automation to send out the transactional email, they'll all trigger that email getting sent. And I'll show you if I go back into Postmark now, I can go to the Wildmail server, go to our uh, default transactional stream. And you can see the tracking here for uh, the opens and link clicks. And if I go to activity, here is the email processed where it says we received the message and are sending it to the recipient's mail server. We will display another event once the message is delivered. And then here is that message. And there's the subject that I set in active campaign. Welcome. There's the test tag that I used. Here is when it was processed. And here it is sent almost instantly right after. Um, so that is how you can send transactional emails. And just to give you a preview of how you can combine this in one automation uh, inside Active Campaign, back in my Postmark uh, example automation. So we've got a tag, we've got marketing automation here that's triggering this automation. Someone starts a trial, we're gonna send them an email letting them know, uh, welcome, your 14 day trial has started. Then I can hit plus here, sending options, send an email. By the way, the postmark action is here as well. Send a transactional email. I can choose send an email. This can be an initial marketing email and we'll just say save and design later. I can add a wait block and we'll just say wait for one day. So we can have our nurture sequence here and then we can also follow up at the end with an email that we know they will receive. And that would be back in sending options, a transactional email, letting them know that their 14 day trial is ending. So again, this is account related. We can have an upgrade link in there um, and just say, Hey, you know, this is a reminder, your 14 day trial is ending and go through this process again. And that's an email that should deliver um, instantly to that person's inbox. Uh, and it should get delivered, you know, with, with a very high rate of uh, deliverability. So um, that is one way that you can use it. You can still use your conditions in here. All the other features are av available so that you're mixing um, channels, email, SMS. Um, and if they, for example, don't upgrade, let's say we send them another transactional email. So I'll go through this again, the Postmark server, Wildmail, the default stream. I'll just choose this uh, text email again as an example. 
This one will say your trial is ending. Support at wildmail. I'm just going to say test. Yes, track opens. Yes, track link clicks. Hit finish. And then from here, you could still put conditions. If else. And let's just say tag exists. Status customer. Hit save. And we can give them. Let's just say one day. And then we're checking to see, do they become a customer? Do they upgrade after we remind them that their 14 day trial is coming to an end and invite them to upgrade? Do they become a customer? If yes, we can just end the automation. If no, we can uh, send it a notification email uh, that this contact has reached this point in automation. We can you know, trigger a webhook and ping our sales team in Slack or whatever internal communication channel you're using. Let them know, hey, this person uh, went through the 14 day trial, but they didn't end up upgrading. Why don't you reach out? Um, there's a lot that you can do combining your transactional emails with your marketing and sales emails uh, while still keeping them on separate channels. So postmark to send the transactional and then active campaign, of course, uh, to send your marketing and sales email. So if you have any questions about how to send uh, transactional emails inside ActiveCampaign using Postmark, please feel free to drop them in the comments below. We'd be happy to help out.